All right, friends, here's chapter nine of Sideways Stories from Wayside School, written by Lewis Sacker, and it's about a girl named Morisa. Morisa liked ice cream. She was sweet and pretty, and she could beat up any boy in Mrs. Jewel's class. Everybody liked Morisa, except for Kathy, but Kathy didn't like anybody. Morisa only liked ice cream. Every day, Marisa brought an ice cream cone to school and kept it in her desk until lunchtime. At first, she brought chocolate ice cream every day, but soon she got tired of chocolate ice cream. So she started bringing vanilla, but she got tired of vanilla too. Then she got tired of strawberry fudge ripple, butter pecan, pistachio, and burgundy cherry in that order. And then a terrible thing happened. Marisa got tired of ice cream. By that time, her desk was a mess and everything, and it was sticky. Everybody liked Marisa, but Marisa didn't like anything. Mrs. Jules hated to see Marisa unhappy. I don't understand it, Mrs. Jules, cried Marisa. There just aren't any good flavors anymore. So Mrs. Jules worked all night. The next day, she brought in a new flavor of ice cream for Marisa. It was Marisa-flavored ice cream. Everyone will like it, thought Mrs. Jules, because everybody likes Marisa. Here you are, Marisa, said Mrs. Jules. Marisa-flavored ice cream. Everybody gathered around as Marisa tasted it. They hoped she'd like it. She took a lick. Well, said Mrs. Jules. Well, asked the class. This ice cream has no taste, said Marisa. It doesn't taste bad, but... It doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste like anything at all. Mrs. Jules was heartbroken. Here, let me try it, said Todd, and he tasted it. You're crazy, Marisa, he said. This is the best tasting ice cream I've ever eaten. Try some, Dee Dee. Mmm, it's delicious, said Dee Dee. It's so sweet and creamy. She passed it around the glass. Ooh, it is so good, said Leslie. I think it tastes terrible, said Kathy. I don't understand it, said Maurice. I don't taste the thing. Mrs. Jules slapped herself in the face. Oh, I've made a big mistake, Maurice. Of course you can't taste anything. It's Maurice flavored ice cream. It's the same taste you always taste when you're not tasting anything at all. So the next day, Mrs. Jules brought in Joe flavored ice cream. Maurice liked it. So did everybody else. Joe thought it had no taste. Everybody liked Marisa. Marisa only liked Joe. The following day, Mrs. Jules brought in Ron-flavored ice cream. Ron thought it had no taste, but everyone else loved it. Everybody liked Marisa. Marisa only liked Joe and Ron. By the end of the month, Mrs. Jules had brought in 27 new flavors of ice cream, one for each member of the class. Everybody liked Marisa, and Marisa liked everybody. They all tasted so good, all except Kathy. Kathy flavored ice cream tasted a little bit like old bologna. Everyone still agreed that Marisa flavored ice cream was the best, except Marisa. She liked Todd ice cream the best. But this turned out to be a bit of a problem. Every once in a while, Marisa would try to take a bite out of Todd's arm just in order to get a taste of that very special flavor. Stay tuned.